so there it is out of the package blue spot thermometer and it's got this handy little I suppose for lifting it up if you want to take it off the stove pipe and then at the back some sort of coil some calibration I expect it expands and contracts with the heat and there's also a magnet there so you can just put it onto the stove pipe no need to drill or anything like that although they did include a screw in it uh, where you could screw it onto the wall I suppose if you wanted so the best operation is there between 300 and 400 so not too low and not too high just right in the center that's the best place for it blue spot because about five quid there it is just on the stove now you can see it's just a magnet you can whoop, lift it on and off like that and then it'll record the temperature of your stove the other thing which I bought is this cozy stove, a heat powered stove fan. As you can see here, it requires no electricity, cores or batteries. It uses the heat from the stove or the fireplace to create its own electricity. How wonderful is that? Increases warmth and comfort, circulates warm air throughout the room. Maximum air flow. 100 CFM cubic feet per meter burn 14% less wood completely silent and you may wonder how does this thing work well it works on the principle of a thermocouple you can see up the top here there are these cooling fins and down the bottom there's an aluminium base and when you put this on the stove and the heat travels up the aluminium base and in there there's a thermocouple and you know that with a thermocouple two different metals yeah, at different temperatures they generate electricity and when it generates electricity then it drives this little motor which then turns the fan that's the principle of it I think that's how it works heat powered stove fan so there it is unpacked, the cosy stove, heat powered stove fan, warning, hot base, lift by the handle, so they put a little handle on there where you can lift it up. So up the top here are there these fins, cooling fins, uh, which uh, makes the top of the, the unit cooler, not colder, cooler than the bottom of the unit. You have this special fan on it apparently it's been designed to throw more air out and behind the fan there is this little electric motor and those are the cables coming from the thermocouple you can see them down in here those little cables in there if I turn this round and that's the base which is on the hot stove, goes on the hot stove and the heat travels up here and in between it there, that's the thermocouple, that white thing there I think it's made up of two bits of, of metal one side becomes very hot and the other side, because of these cooling fins is uh, less hot and the principle is that when the, the temperature differential then generates electricity which then drives the little motor and spins the fan so that's the principle of it it's a neat little unit now you just need kids to go and sort of put their fingers in it and uh, or lift it up by the bottom of the base and get themselves burnt it says that you've got to be careful with children around about it, otherwise they'll just uh, burn themselves. But uh, it's almost energy for nothing.
isn't it? That really appeals to my Scottish heart. So I've started up the fire and it's now about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. It's only going, started going. And this is the fan on top of the stove. And no movement yet. And in here, you can see the fire is burning quite nicely. Oh, there it goes. It started. Completely silent. No sound from it at all. So the thermocouple is working. And the temperature there Perhaps about 150 and it started going. So that's it. Silent little machine. A better angle of it there. And any hot air that's coming out of those vents at the side there has now been blown into the room. I should look at the temperature here inside the room. There you are, it's uh, 15 inside and uh, 13 outside. So let's see how long it takes now to get up. 20 degrees. Apparently the hotter it gets, then the faster it spins. But it's completely silent. You can't hear a single thing going from it. Temperature on top of the stove is up now to about 200. It's going quite fast. They say you shouldn't uh, let it go over, or was it 300 and 45 or something like that, that was the maximum temperature. So I suppose you then have to regulate it so the thermocouple doesn't get destroyed. But it's spinning like anything in there. And perhaps I can reduce this so that this burns slower now so the temperature doesn't go up too much there we go thermocouple fan so with the primary air vent round about quarter open or something like that fire is just burning quite nicely. There wasn't very much wood in there, it was all an experiment. And with the secondary air vent closed all the way down, then the fan is spinning quite nicely and throwing the air out into the room. And what's more important is here the temperature on the stove pipe is uh, around about 300 uh, Fahrenheit. So it uh, won't destroy the thermocouple when it's uh, kept in that range. It, uh, it's only about 150. Uh, centigrade. So that's it. It's working well. Should really get it against that white surface so you can see it spinning around. But uh, hardly any sound from it, hardly detectable. 
So it's going good. Well, I think it it may have improved the air distribution in the room because there you can see it's up to 19 degrees centigrade and now it's 12, 16. I can't remember when I started it. I have to make a calculation. So there it is, spinning uh, nicely, throwing hot air out into the room. And we have achieved 20.5 degrees in 19. So it's 18 minutes to get the room up to 20 degrees. I think that's excellent. I think it's faster than uh, when we did it without the fan. I think it was more like 25 minutes. So, excellent result. The cosy fan. Or cosy, cosy stove. It's called. It's wonderful what they think of these days. Over and out. Wawa Wichi! Now there's a very interesting design feature. You see the base is lifted up off the top of the stove. There's actually a space there. It looks like there's a piece of metal which sort of bends and lifts the base up off the stove. I expect that so that it, it doesn't get too much heat going up through it and into the fan. And uh, you can see now that the temperature is up almost in about half an hour to 23 degrees. So I think that proves that it's effective in heating up the room. 14 outside. So well pleased with that. So the temperature has dropped down to about 250 Fahrenheit and the fire has gone out and uh, it's still spinning completely silent now. Can't hear a thing from it. And that little thing on the bottom seems to have gone down so that uh, it's now touching the stove top completely. And as you can see the fire is out, there's not any embers in there. So it's still going on, just because of the temper temperature differential in the thermocouple. And it's now 23, almost uh, about 56 minutes. So, nice. Time, 2 o'clock, temperature 21.4 centigrade. And the fan is still going round. Very, very slowly now. No fire. And the temperature must be about 150 Fahrenheit. Perhaps about 60, 70 centigrade. So, the thermocouple works very well. Now it's on its last legs. And the temperature I don't know, 125 or something like that. I could stop it easily. And it's what? 235. Still 21. 